welcome to a new road tourist video on roads channel we are in upper bavaria on motorway a8 now but we will soon exit it to go to tegernsee so we'll take the first exit right to drive on b318 just just left the parking space of Holzkirchen South, Holzkirchen Süd, and we are now taking the exit to Holzkirchen. That's the exit 97, and we'll go to the nice mountain area of Tegernsee Lake. We will see some Upper Bavarian typical landscapes during this trip about 20 kilometers so we leave the motorway now and enter B318 that starts here and you see battles taken the but this Kitchen. This first stretch from the motorway on B318 was extended to two lanes per direction last year. I think it was finished in late, maybe November, December last year. It's very good here. It was also this uh, intersection wasn't two level. It was a traffic light intersection. Now it's a two level one. It's much, much better because there was a lot of traffic congestion here but this, uh, this road sees a lot of traffic a lot of touristic traffic but also commuting traffic to Munich and here is the exit to Holzkirchen bypass and until here it was extended the road and there is a project to extend it uh, further but as you see the bridge in front needs to be rebuilt in order to, to be able to enlarge the road and the next one also the next bridge is the rail railway uh, Holzkirchen Bayerisch Zell goes over it you see Tegerns at 20 kilometers so we are now on the east bypass of Holzkirchen Holzkirchen is a nice little town about 17,000 inhabitants very well placed between Munich and the mountains it's very nice to live here you have uh, very good access in all directions you have railways that are going radial in five directions of so Munich, Rosenheim, Battles, Lengris, Tegernsee, Bayerstedt, Schliersee and you have the motorway 8 that's going nearby and also some important national roads like this one B318 and the one to Battles. The road B318 it's uh, it's one plus one, but it has seen some improvements recently. Oh, what's this police? I don't know what it was. It's seen some improvement recently like this first stretch that was extended and you will see um, another intersection farther away was made two level was built as two level intersection going through Bangal and it somehow manages to by bypass uh, the villages between Holzkirchen and Gmünd it's another exit to Holzkirchen As you see, we are heading directly to the mountains. You can see the mountain of Hirschberg in front of us, going at over 1,600. 
sich es handelt, wie das sei. It's a nice road here as we approach the mountains. A lot of green grass around, typical upper Bavarian landscapes. We have now better views of the mountains and on the left is a Taubenberg hill. It's very close here. I think the peak is at about 896 meters high. It's a very known destination for mountain biking and hiking for the people that don't want to climb so much. Maybe as an after work tour for, for this, some people living here. It's very very nice. There is also a tower on the peak from where we have a very nice view of the mountains and the surrounding landscapes. So that's very nice. And we are now on the bypass of, of Wangau, the village you see on the left. Wangau is a uh, commune made up of at least three three more important villages Oberwargau, Osterwargau and Wargau and in front of us you see the underpass that was built recently here in Wargau I think before there was also traffic light here As I said, there were a lot of traffic jams, especially Sunday afternoon, when a lot of people are trying to go home to Munich from the mountains and from the nice area in front of us, Tegel the Lake. And now you can see also Benedictine Band on the right. Going us up at 1800 meters. Also, very nice area to go for, for hikes. As you see, there is a lot of traffic on this road, especially in summer. A lot of tourists are coming here from. Germany and also from, from other countries. And you see a lot of uh, green pastures around. It rains quite a lot here in the region. output mostly milk so there are a lot of uh, cow farms around we are at an altitude of about 700 meters high so it's it's too high for cereals or for, for other type of uh, agriculture but for cow growing and grass is perfect, I think. And we have now a glimpse of Wenderstein mountain in front of us. Now so that's the end of Barngau bypass. riding center on the right a lot of uh, bike tracks I like a lot this uh, region for doing bike trips because you don't have to climb so much but you still climb some hills and you have very nice views of the mountains in front
that it can it can also be planted on higher altitudes corn maybe until 750 meters or 800 directly in front you see the Guffert mountain that's the closest peak over 2000 from Munich it's in Austria it is about 65 kilometers from Munich as the crow flies and you have a nice hotel on the left Kaplerarm restaurant some farms are here directly selling milk or other agricultural products like eggs also so if you have the time to stop a little bit and buy I can only recommend because the products are usually very very good and now we are in a traffic jam that's the intersection to B300 uh, B472 sorry there is usually a traffic jam on this intersection it's a traffic light intersection between two national roads two very important national roads and I think I will stop the video for a moment and start as a we go over this traffic traffic light here. So we are now getting over B472. We are over from this traffic jam. It took about five minutes to go over. I didn't expect it at this time of day to go into a traffic jam here. It's usually rush hour traffic and touristic traffic Sunday or or Saturday in the morning but now we are on a weekday since a lot of tourists are coming and from this intersection the B318 goes through some villages First Durmbach and it's very difficult to build a bypass here. And Moss Rhine we are going now. It's actually a chain of villages until Mund and Tegernsee. Here we can say we are in the Tegernsee region, Tegernsee Lake. It's a very touristic region. There are also a lot of rich people that have built houses here around. The region is well known as a touristic spot since maybe 150 years ago, maybe the end of, of 19th century. That's when the first VIPs came here and discovered the region. We are now quite close from the lake and we'll go near the lake for a bit.
some traffic lights here. That's low, uh, that are slowing the traffic. It shouldn't take too much time until we go past it. Now we have green light. shower a long queue ahead I think it's until the intersection between B 318 and B 307 letting moon about one kilometer ahead stop and go Entering Moon Antegernsee, small town of about six or seven thousand inhabitants. Apart from tourism, it also has some other industries. I think a paper. still in this traffic jam we are going downhill now to the lake and there is here like I said a bigger intersection there are two national roads that are going around Tegernsee B318 goes over Bad Bize on the west part of the lake and the B307 that starts here at the next intersection will go on the on the east side of the lake over Tegernsee town and I will take the B307 through Tegernsee let's see let's see where we go we can't go now and we have a nice view of the mountains from this uh, little downhill here It's the same distance, but usually, if you want to go to Achense, I think it's better to go right here through Bad Bize because in Tegernsee there are more traffic jams in the town of Tegernsee. But I want to, to show you this road to Tegernsee, as it's a very, very nice little town. I think it's the main touristic town on the lake. Tegan the lake is not so big, but it has very, very nice water. 
one of the clearest water of all lakes in Bavaria because they were smart and they built a sewage around the lake so nothing no polluted water goes into the into into the lake and now we are free to go bridge over Mangfall river that forms here from Tegan the lake and goes to the inn in Rosenheim it meets uh, the bigger inn river and you see very nice uh, little village or town this Gmund with very nice houses Also a big beach on Tegense Lake here in Mut. roundabout to have an intersection with the county road where you can go left if you go left we we'll go to Schlierze another very nice lake that I I filmed also that's the road between Bayern and Bayerisch Zell the movie I will I will link it above Here's the parking for this big beach on the lake. I think you have to pay here to go to the lake. There are a lot of uh, people that are taking walks or bike tours here around. There is a nice uh, bicycle bike pass that uh, goes around the lake I think it has around 30-35 kilometers the lake likes exactly the contact between the mountains and the smaller hills from four Alpen land or three Alps so from here we are more or less in the mountains. You see Valberg in front of us. On the left of us is Neuroid, about 1200 meters high. Abbey was uh, was.
was also rebuilt, rebuilt in, a, in a castle more or less and the brewery they brew very good beer here in Tegenzer so I recommend you to, to stay there as a terrace there is a very very big beer, beer garden and enjoy a beer near the lake it's a wonderful experience as you see the bike path near us and the lake very nice lake it's also a pretty cold lake it usually does the water temperature doesn't go up to more than 20 degrees but there are still many people that are taking the bus here in warm summer days and I think we are now entering the town of Tegernsee and this is the mountain of Wahlberg Wahlberg in front of us also at more than 1600 meters high I like a lot to come to come here from time to time to take us there and enjoy the, the lake, take a walk, drink a beer. It's very nice. A lot of hotels also and pensions where you can stay for a few nights and enjoy the whole region. A very nice hiking area also so we are just near the lake here the road goes exactly through Tegernsee there is no possibility to bypass it and now we are more or less in the center with these very nice houses and with flowers on their balconies like it should be here in Upper Bavaria We have the Abbey and the Palace, Tegan's the Palace in front of us now. A little further, sorry, don't see it now. Just the tourist information. City Hall on the right. So, like I said, it's very, very nice here. You can also go by boat on a tour of the lake, like you see here. A lot of people are doing it. touristic area also this Olaf Gudbrandsson museum also a lot of traffic but I mean if you have something to see while you are staying in this traffic jam it's no problem no big problem just have more time to enjoy the nice town of Tegernsee Right 
is an Emmy, which was like I said, transformed in a, in a palace. Bye.